Hey everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're checking out Stickin' Stuff. From Lookout Games. Uh, this game uh, is a patchwork type game. Um, and it is specifically for two players. And the box playtime is, it says approximately 20 minutes. Should be quick. If, so, if you know patchwork, you'll catch on to this pretty quickly. Oh, absolutely. So it has a lot of similarities. Um, yeah, it's cool. So let's take a look at what you get. So you're going to take all of the yellow tiles and randomly place them around. And then you're going to place the delivery truck in front of this three piece, the size three piece right here. Now, each of these pieces will have a cost in money and in time. Some of them will also have coins on them. So whenever you acquire this tile, you're going to have to pay this much money, spend this much time, and you'll get extra coins. So you'll get a coin back. Yes. Uh, sometimes uh, they, there are multiple coins. I'm wondering if we played it wrong our first time, but we'll come back to it. Oh, what's the question? Just keep going. Okay, so uh, on your turn, you are either going to advance your token and receive coins. Uh, so it goes, your, your spot, your little tracker will go in front of the opponent's time tracker, and you will receive one coin for each space. For example, if Steph were right here, I could take four coins immediately, one, two, three, four, placing it right in front of Steph's piece, and I will get those four coins. Alternatively, I can take and place a tile. Uh, this is, there it's a five-step process. The first step is to choose a tile. Choose one of the three tiles in front of the truck in clockwise order. If they're all too expensive or you don't want any of those three tiles, guess what? Go back to choice A and you can advance in front of your opponent and take that many coins. So uh, place the truck in front of your chosen tile and take the tile. So let's say I choose this surfboard. I would place this here. I would take this surfboard. Paying, uh, uh, pay for the tile is step three you will uh, pay the three coins uh, on the, it's on the tile and you will then place the tile on your player board. Obviously the tiles may not overlap. You can't hang off the side of your moving truck because this is your moving truck. Now you can either have your moving truck like this or you can play on the other side with a slightly different uh, person on uh, driving the truck. Uh, there's a blue truck and a red truck, which works perfectly for me and Steph, because she always plays red, I always play blue. And the final step is to move the time token. Now, if for some reason uh, I am exactly one step behind Steph and I move one space on the time track, I'm on Steph's space, so I put my token on top of hers, and I'm going to immediately take another turn. If I was way behind Steph and I move up one, I still am behind Steph and so I take another turn. So uh, if I were here and I moved four spaces, one, two, three, four, I will get any coins that I pass. And if I land on or pass any boxes, I'm going to get those little one by one tiles as well. I can't hold on to them. I have to place them on my truck somewhere. But that's only when you land on or pass those. Only the first person to uh, land on or pass a box will get to take the box. Uh, obviously, since I'm ahead of Steph, it would then be Steph's turn. Um, go back. When you pass back. over this coin, you don't get a coin, I think. I think this is what we played wrong, is you you add up all the coins uh, in your truck. No, you are correct. That's the original that's, work, which I just was triggered right now. Got you. Each time you advance your time token past that coin symbol, you get a number of coins equal to the coin symbols on the tiles on your player board. So you don't get these coins when you place them on your truck. I did say that incorrectly. Right. You get coin income based on, after you hit these, you will get coin income based on all the different coins 
that is already in your moving truck. So, yes, you are correct. That's normal, Patrick. That is. I've forgotten about. So, uh, whenever you have five or fewer of these yellow tiles remaining, uh, you will then... There are a bunch of smaller blue tiles. So this is the stack portion. This is the stuff portion because you're going to stuff cute little stuffed animals and movable uh, mattresses and rugs. And you're going to stuff these anywhere they can go. Um, so whenever you place those on, um, like I say, when there are only five stack tiles left, Put the blue stuff um, tiles, placing them in a random or uh, random order behind the truck. So obviously the yellow tiles are going to be first up. These will all be behind the truck. Until then, they tell you just keep them in the box. Uh, the end of the game will happen. Um, whenever both time tokens reach the final space, this house space is a final space. One player may have to wait for the other to finish. Uh, if a time token were to move past the last space, you just stop on the last space. Um, and if you perform the first action, uh, action A, where you're going to take one coin for each space, you are going to, uh, get coins only for the actual number of spaces moved to get to the final space. Uh, how to score? Count the number of coins you have left. Subtract two points for each square you did not fill in your moving truck. Compare your scores, highest score wins. Uh, in the case of a tie, whoever reached the last space first wins. So there you have it. Yay! Whoa! Thanks for resubscribing, Time Roller. 29 Time months. Roller. That's awesome. Yeah, that's three subscriptions in one day. That's pretty awesome. All right, so re resetting. Uh, I am first. Which of these do I actually want? Oh, we each start with five coins, which we have in front of us. All I've got all of the rest of the coins over here behind the game box on the screen. So, oh, let's see. You know what? I sort of like that surfboard that I used for the example. So I'm going to pay three coins. I'm going to move in front of the surfboard. I will take the surfboard and place it thusly. And I'm going to move one spot. It's you. I'll spend two. Spending two. For this. Taking the weird little lamp. That's four time. One, two, three, four. Well, 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 well. Well, well, well. Zero coins. Don't like it. I'll put out a prediction. Start prediction. One, two, three, four. I get four coins plus no, plus no coins because I don't have any income. So I'm going to get four coins. Two, four. Whoa. I did it. That's not great. I'll do this for zero coins and three time. One, two, and a box. And I crossed over. I get a coin. You get one coin. Woohoo! So when you move the time token and you go up, obviously the one you placed does indeed count. Um... That's a four cost... Time and a three cost time, both of them costing six. It's a lot. That is a lot. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna want to get some coins anyway, so I think I may end up just taking the four cost four time cost one. Moving forward to here, plopping this right in here. One, two, three, four. I get two income after spending six. So, boom, there you have it. It you. Yep, I see, I see. Take that long umbrella. She's like, no. I'm going to spend $2. I can't go that far. Nuts. 
I will take it when I do it. Two bucks for this umbrella. Why can't you take it? I can. One, you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. How about now? I guess I'll spend a dollar. Oh, no, I can now spend two dollars for the three one. Yeah. Perfect. One, two, three. Getting that. And income of two. Yep. Rolling in it. Yeah, I see. They see me rolling. Rolling. I'm do this. And I don't like that one. I do actually like the four coin one, but cannot afford it. So one, two, three, that is not great. Don't be like me. Huh. Uh, I have two dollars. Two dollars. I could buy that for two time. Two dollars. Sure. What? One dollar to buy the, the dress. It's four. The desk or something. One, two, take your income. Look, I made money on it. Oh, is that what you call it? I feel like I have more stuff than you. What? <laughs> That's possible. God, I don't like any of them. I do not like them, Sam. I am. I wanted this one, but you did not let me have it. Nope. Oh. Guess I'm stuck taking this one. Two, three, four. Placing it right here. Moving forward, one, two, three. I do get an income of three. And I get to plop this down somewhere. Somewhere. One coin. How'd you get one coin? I had to spend my time to get money. Oh. So how'd you get one coin? Well, I had two plus one. I needed the one. I can't afford any of those. One, two. And an income. And an income of three is five. I'm rich. Wow. I guess I'm going to spend... But I'm not filling my truck up. Five. Take this thing. One. You get an income. One, two, three. And then I will spend one to get that thing. One, two, three. Is that how that goes? That's how it go. Me either. This is accurately how you would stuff, accurately. stuff a moving van. So paying four. For this, wait a second. There are five left. Yep, we got to bring out the stuff. I need to pull my money back. Well, I know what I'm going to take, so I've already paid for it. Ooh, did anybody bet at all? Can't answer that question. There's the stuff portion of your program. This is what I took. This is where it goes. <laughs> One, two, what? Dan. It reminds me of when we had to pack to load all your stuff, except that took longer. That took, that took a lot longer. One. Huh. It costs one coin. It costs one time. It's still my turn. We like this. Mikey likes it. Well, do I now? Oh. 
I mean, I sort of want this, but I sort of don't want it. You got so many more games now. But I've learned my lesson that if I am moving, I'm going to Lowe's to pick up a lot of the same size box. Yeah. None of this trying to buy tubs and blah, blah, blah. Tubs are fine. Tubs but Tubs are great. But boxes are square. <laughs> I R square. You know what? If I go one, I get a whole lot of income. One, I get four income. And make you think about and and one for the move. Boo. It puts you, you in a yes, it's exactly what I'm doing. Are you sure? Yes, it's exactly what I'm doing. Which doesn't give you much. Three. Yeah. You have not many places to One move. time. I get One income time. now. Get your income. I get three bucks back. There you go. Take it. Yeah, I'm going to lose so bad. Three bucks. <laughs> Two time. I got one spot to put this, so I guess it's going there. Yep. That's where I'm running out of spaces. Yep. So That's not a bad thing. <laughs> like let's be honest let's be real be real and honest it's not a bad thing well coins are victory points so I'm taking this for four two time stuffing it in somewhere stuff it real good Oh, baby, baby. Where do I put it? Did nobody vote? You can't answer that question. We already been through this. I answering it. Nobody voted for me. Nobody voted for anybody. Let's do that. All right. Now I have... A lot of substandard options here. Okay, Jalfia. The only way to ruin you is to make you not be able to do anything. That's rude. I mean, you can you can actually fit that on your car. Right. I was planning on it. Yeah, no. <laughs> Not letting that happen. One, two, three, four, five, seven bucks. I can't do anything, so I have to six, take seven. money. One, two, three money. Plus four is seven. Need some extra? I need one buck. It me. Yep. Uh, this three coin thing is going to be the best thing I can possibly do. And three, one, two, three. No income for me. But I can stuff that right there. I can do this. Yeah, you can. One time. One time. And then I can't do anything. One, two. One, two, and... One, two, three, four. So six total. Unfortunately, none of this takes zero time. These are identical. So I might as well take the cheap one. Take a whole buttload of minus points, sadly. Oof. I mean, what could I do? That's all you've got. Uh, I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I wonder if I missed an income along the way. Anyway, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. 
5, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, negative 6. Negative 6. Whoa. I got 11 points. God. I'm terrible. <laughs> that, so when we played the other day, we forgot that when you pass the coin, you collect all your coins on your board. So I was like, oh, I remember it now that I mm -hmm. was thinking about it. But um, that definitely helped me this game because I'm like, okay, I got to get at least a few tiles. I mean, I did. Here. I tried to get tiles with income. Yeah. And it didn't help me. I like this game a lot, actually. It's pretty good. Yeah. You had the little cute toys yeah. filling up the, the moving cart. It's, it's pretty good. It's probably a slightly better than Patchwork just because I like that the smaller tiles come out in the later game, which I think is, is nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, it's a great addition. It's like a great addition to the series of yeah. games that they're doing. I think I prefer this to Patchwork, actually. But yeah. uh, this is specifically for two players. Of course. So, so it's Patchwork. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's been so long since I've played Patchwork. Where right. is Patchwork? It's over there in the other room. What? What? It used to be over here. Things have been moving. Oh, yeah. So, it's funny you should say moving. We're moving. Because we just finished stacking stuff. Nice. So, so check it out. From Lookout Games. Games. Good.